If you're watching this now on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Help us get those numbers up. And I'm going to throw it right to Matt here with Kalik Lockett. First player we're talking about tonight. Pretty interesting wide receiver. Tell us more about this guy. So he is out of, uh, I'm not totally sure how to pronounce it, Sasha's, Texas? Your Sasha's. Guess is, I don't know. Uh, and he is you know, a pretty consensus top five wide receiver in the class. Uh, six foot one, 175 pounds. Uh, and he's kind of a tough one for me. Uh, I, he's a bit of a one trick pony in that uh, he, his ball skills are pretty much the highest in his class and are pretty elite. I mean, he can do it all one hand grabs, sideline grabs, uh, jumping over a guy, uh, especially, you know, for being not massive wide receiver, 6'1, 175. Uh, it's really impressive. And to go on top, he does have a six foot seven wingspan, which is uh, pretty crazy for a player of his height. That's you know plus six inches, uh, and, and he definitely shows it off on the field. Uh, a bit of a drawback, and you know reason why he might not be the most well loved wide receiver in the class. Uh, testing, he doesn't have amazing testing numbers. Relatively average, I would say. Uh, not enough for me to be like, oh, you know, this is detrimental, but. Uh, it's not a standout, let's just say that. But I'm not sure it would really matter. I mean, he's definitely a functional enough athlete to make it work. Uh, I mean, he's cooking pretty good Texas competition. Uh, he's looked very good in camps as well. Looked very good as a deep threat there. Runs a bit of a you know smaller route tree, mostly vertical stuff, uh, You know, just given his skill set at the moment. Uh, I think he's pretty solid after the catch. Uh, not you know, not amazing, but he he gets it done. Uh, you know, good enough. I I don't think that's going to be his standout calling card though. Uh, to me, he really does kind of remind me of CD Lamb. I went back and watched oh. Lamb's junior and senior tape uh, in high school, and uh, I mean, it, it looks pretty identical. I mean, Lamb a little bit better after the catch for sure, maybe a little bit more refined, but. I mean, we're talking the same build, pretty much the same athletic testing at this stage, uh, same production numbers at this stage too as juniors. Uh, Lockets are a little bit better against slightly worse competition, but uh, I, I think that's you know the comp for him in terms of at least upside, uh, which is you know a very very high praise, obviously, but it's also you know not a slam dunk. There's definitely. Uh, questions with the profile is definitely a trickier profile to project because you don't have, you know, all these things on paper saying, yes, this guy is going to be a stud, you know, kind of like with CD where it's like, okay, average tester, great film, obviously. But uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I think that's a very fun comp when you said it kind of, you know, earlier off air, I was like, oh, I think I can see that actually. I hadn't put it together. David, uh, your thoughts on Lockett here. I mean, I'm going to echo a lot of what Matt said. It's just, well, the services are kind of all in on him. It seems like they have him ranked really high. They Typically, they're a little bit slower to, to, to grade a guy as high as they have. And I guess they're already convinced. A lot of that, it sounds like, is from camps and stuff. You know, the reports are that he's he, he looks good running routes um, in the camp setting. And, you know, they just didn't really ask him to do that um, at his – high school yet uh, maybe we see more of that as a senior i'm i'm probably going to be saying this a lot like a lot of this is kind of like a wait and see situation with these like i really want to see more on senior tape but yeah i mean like a lot of his stuff is just like vertical um you know like jump ball type things which he can pull off because yeah he's super long got really long arms um like his plus six wingspan is like uh 91st percentile so yeah, it's just crazy length, um, really good coordination and, and body control and all that. Um, I think it's just, you know, I'm kind of kind of trusting the services that he can run more routes than he has. Uh, hopefully we see more as a senior. Yeah, I, I mean, the things that stood out to me, obviously, is that wingspan, which we've mentioned a few times. He also does a lot of the, you know, kind of not, not just the 100 meter, but long jump, triple jump, which I know David – gets in on that on the on the track scene um <clears throat> and you mentioned his production i mean this guy ridiculous as a junior 34 percent reception share 44 percent yards 48 percent touchdowns i mean that's really 
what you want to see when you start getting near 50% of a team's uh, production, 22 yards per catch. Um, but not a crazy tester. And like, this is the profile that I want to get more comfortable with just stamping it and being like, yeah, the tape is good. The testing doesn't really matter. We keep saying that with wide receivers and yet I'm slow to put that into practice, but you know, with the wingspan, it's just, he's going to be physically able. And I don't mean just like big and tall. I mean, those the fact that you can get those arms out in front of DBs and over DBs and things like that uh, is going to be really interesting to see how he develops. And then the last thing is like CD lamb. I do like the, after the catch ability, he shows that quite a bit, um, you know, with some, some catches that are on comebacks or some kind of short breaking route. And then he he's able to kind of, you know, spin the right direction to evade the first defender. And then he takes off his athleticism in testing isn't great. It doesn't really pop on, on tape either, but you know, like Matt said, athletic enough to get it done. And then he's just a good wide receiver. I mean, I think that's evident by now. Um, there was one play I saw caught on the sideline as he's going down, he looks down, you know, steps it right on the sideline, gets that toe in. Uh, and it looked like he was, you know, kind of in, uh, intentional about that. Uh, so I think there's some good nuance there. And I think he's just like a good, uh, good sense for the position. I'm pretty excited about where Lockett can go from here, uh, but uh, would like to see a little more diversity and, and kind of route running prowess uh, like David there as well.